as the mayor of Marana, you could issue some sort of proclamation that would require wearing a face covering in public, and you've opted not to do that. I have, yes. And what's the reason behind that decision? Well, I think if people uh, people have a certain amount of culpability on their own, uh, if you go to a public place, wear a mask. If you're in an area where you can separate or in a park or children playing in our splash pads or on our playground equipment, uh, they're not going to wear a mask. It's 106 degrees out there. Uh, I think mandating wearing a mask is not going to guarantee you that everybody's going to wear one. I think in asking people to uh, try to be on their best behavior and, and be cautious and careful of the health of others works better. Pima County, in the most recent days, has decided that the proclamation exists. Marana is in Pima County. How do you see that manifesting itself here over the next few weeks? I don't have an issue with the mass part. I have an issue with the penalty part, and I'll give you two examples quickly. Uh, there's a penalty that if a, a restaurant lounge has uh, three or four calls in from patrons that either people aren't wearing a mask or uh, too many people gathered at a table or something of that nature, the county could call the state liquor department and ask them to look at that business. Uh, another thing was uh, they originally encouraged people, if you see someone you think that is not fulfilling the, the order, take a picture and send it to the county website. They have since moder- uh, kind of changed that a little bit to call the website. My problem was if uh, Tom and Jane are in a business with their children and they're not wearing a mask, and you take a picture of them, I don't want a picture of Tom and Jane or their children on a county website. And my biggest problem with the county is I don't like people playing big brother to the town of Marana. What do you see as your role should Pima County Health Department or someone call Marana Police Department and say, you need to get down to X establishment because people there are not wearing masks? We will not enforce that. And I'll give you a couple reasons. I've talked to our legal staff and uh, uh, police as well. Um, the resolution was issued by the county, not by the town of Marana. And we did not sign on with an agreement with the county to, uh, to be the policing agency for that resolution. So the town of Marana will not enforce the resolution. That doesn't mean the county cannot come into our community and do it. Any concern about the economics of this, that people in the surrounding area may say, I'm not going to go to Marana to shop anymore because they're not enforcing it the way I'd like them to? Uh, We're actually seeing just the opposite. Our stores are just being overrun with people. And I'm having people call saying, I live in East Tucson. I'm coming to Marana to shop. Uh, I I don't think that becomes an issue. I will talk about the economic a little bit. The National News yesterday said 8.5% of all people that have a mortgage in this country are either now in default or behind on their mortgage and, and close to default. I think that's a really big issue. And most of those are young people with families. I need those young people to be able to go back to work. That doesn't mean you don't do it respectfully. Wear a mask if you can. Uh, Don't congregate. But uh, what are we going to do if that 8.5% of the people lose their home? Where are they going to live? Where are their children going to live? What are they going to do? So the virus is an issue, but the consequences of the virus are an issue as well. Okay. Ed Honey, Mayor of Marana, thank you for your time. Thank you.